Hey Capricorn, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you so much love and light. Thank you for being here with me. So this is gonna be your love reading for January. Let's take a look and see what's coming your way in love. All right, Capricorn, if you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn, this is Passionate Heart Tarot. Let's jump right in and see what spirit shows us. Okay, before I begin, I just wanna take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is coming in for your love life. There's such strong Pisces energy around you guys now. There is. You guys might be cross-watching. Maybe you have a Pisces on your mind. Maybe you have that energy moon or rising. And the initial M is also here. I see uh, someone who's finally like their mind is going to be at ease and they're going to stop looking back out and thinking about what hurts them. They've created like a lot of negative attachments for themselves. And, and I don't say that to put them down, but it's it's beautiful to see that they're going to break uh, those negative attachments. I say that because this person is like responsible for themselves. They their overthinking puts themselves in a place where they just feel so worried and so anxious all the time. The beautiful thing is like that pattern is going to be broken uh, like twice over. That's a beautiful thing. There's too much time being spent on worrying about like, what if, what if, what if? And they're not, and the confusion, um, they're finally going to have clarity. I think that they're going to follow their heart. This could be your energy Capricorn, or it could be what's going on with your person. There's so much love between, like you are so loved it's important that you let yourself be loved, that you let that love into your life because there's so much that's just, it's right in front of you, but you might not see it. I don't say that to put anybody down, but there's a blindfold on that person. I know that they put themselves in that place. Uh, you know, it's probably very valid based on what they've gone through, but it doesn't serve them anymore seeing the energy come in reverse it's spirit letting you know that it's time to release it's time to let go it it really is you you've taken all that you can from that experience just know that you won't make the same mistakes twice and 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 if you're so worried about history repeating itself um worrying is not going to prevent that from happening you're, you're in the right place. You're surrounded by love right now. And it's really important that you let yourself see that, that you let yourself open up to receive it. And whoever this is that's doing that, um, they are going to. So Capricorn, that might be your person's energy. You could be trying to like get closer to them. Um, and I see that happening. I see walls coming down. I see where someone's going to let themselves be more in the present rather than the past all the time. And if you are wondering, um, if you're, if you're thinking of things, Capricorn, as a way to like, uh, prevent them from happening, cause you want to be like two steps ahead, like the, all those thoughts about like, just in case, just in case, please let yourself, uh, be free from that energy. It's easier said than done, but I just know that there's so much around you that you're not seeing right now. You have to let yourself see it. Um, the energy of someone who's deeply, deeply in love with you and their heart is just so wide open for you, so wide open for this. You have to know that um, this person loves you more than they've ever loved anyone, more than they ever could love anyone. Seeing the Ace of Cups come in reverse, it's it lets me know that the connection hasn't even peaked. 
there's still so much experiences for the two of you to have together. So if you feel like the love between the two of you is incredibly strong now, it's only going to grow and get deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, it's all the message to you from spirit is all about like letting yourself see what's right in front of you. Um, letting yourself receive all the love that's trying to come in. Okay, Capricorn, that's really important. I I know you're going to find your way. You're going to find your path. You're, you're going to receive the kind of clarity that you need. And really, that does start from within. It starts uh, with believing. It starts with trusting. Okay, let's look at this Ace of Cups. There is such strong Pisces energy, like triple here. I wonder if any of you watching like have um, like Pisces, sun, moon, and rising, or you might have that energy moon or rising. You could even have a Pisces coming your way because um, with, with this being the energy that's coming in, it's like love is, is right there, like knocking at the door. Um, in order to receive it, you have to align with it, Capricorn. And really how you do that is just um, going outside of your comfort zone. I know that that's not easy to do, but it's very important that you do it. It's, it's important that you go like go outside of yourself right now and embrace new things. Be open to love. Be Let yourself believe in it. Leo energy is also here, you guys. You see that two of cups coming in reverse? It's reverse because that's like a kindred spirit that's trying to come to you, trying to connect with you, trying to align with you. Don't don't feel like you've missed this opportunity, okay? Don't feel like uh, bad if it's hard for you to let your walls down right now. The beautiful thing about it is, is I see like throughout the month, um, if you just take that first step, that aligns you with this person that's important for you to know you're not gonna like mess this up somehow or do something the wrong way you have a beautiful love that's that's it's right here the energy is so present that's how i know for some of you if you're in a relationship now you have to let your guard down and for others of you that are single it's as if this person like could come in any day now just let yourself take that first step to seeing things um, from a, a different vantage point. Let your mind be open. Let your heart be open. Because I'm telling you that what you have coming your way is um, could even be the love of your life. Especially for those of you that are single, you haven't met this person. This is an incredible amount. The Ace of Cups is like uh, the deepest feelings that you could feel for someone willing to do anything for them i know you have something very special that's trying to come to you capricorn and uh for those of you like i said that either are with this person um in a long-term relationship whatever you're with them now it's important that you really think about letting yourself see what's in front of you and how much this person really does love you you're you're loved so if you have any doubts about that, please, please um, try to let your mind be at ease throughout the month. And I see you guys being able to do that. I see where you're going to be in the present and you're not going to keep looking back at the past. So that's a beautiful thing. I want to look at this King of Cups. Um, seeing the two of cups come in reverse again, it, it just lets me know that there is someone that's waiting to align with you so much. There's someone here who is, um, so for those of you that, uh, this energy, like you're, you're with this person now.
it's important that you just like consider letting yourself um like recommit to them could even be time for you guys to think about renewing your vows and if you haven't made those like official vows to each other um maybe thinking about doing something that shows that sh so the two of you can show each other what you really mean to one another i think that that's important to do it doesn't have to be like anything like super, super like serious. It could just be something private between the two of you. Writing a letter to the other one. Some of you may even want to like make plans to do it more formally. Like a, a renewal is necessary. It's just important that you don't let yourself um, miss out on what's right in front of you right now, Capricorn. That's for those of you that already are in a relationship with someone. Try to just trust in it. Try to let it be renewed. Try to like think about things with an open mind from a different perspective. And for those of you that are single, I mean, you just have so much energy that's waiting to come to you. This, this kindred spirit is trying to align with you. And like I said, just you have to be in the energy of releasing. You have to be in the energy of healing. Don't keep looking back at the past as a way to, um, you know, prevent something like bad from happening to you. Let yourself be in the present because you have to be in the present in order to take a look around and see what's actually right in front of you. Okay, Capricorn, that is what I can see coming through for you guys um, for January. You are so loved. You really are. And I just um, want to see you guys let yourself be open to it. Okay, Capricorn, so that is what I can see coming through for you guys for January. I send you so much love and light. Thank you guys for everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you for being here with me, and I will talk to you guys in a few days.